Hello, hello, Taurus, and welcome to January 2019's forecast. All right, let's get into it, Taurus, because um, the coming in energy, okay? Hmm, okay. Um, I just want to see what's going on, okay? Because the whole month of January is going to be a lot about balance, okay? Um, bringing in and coming into balance and stability, okay? Um, and there could be a lot of choices that are being made right now. Um, or you're, you're between two things, um, and, you know, you're really focused on stability, okay, um, and structure and, and, you know, feeling balanced, but, um, we'll see what's going on, okay, there's a situation going on, so coming in, we got the Ten of Cups in reverse, so to me, the saying, you know, I think that, um, something has you upset, it's like your stomach's tight, or like you, um, you know, you, you, a situation happened, it could have been with an Aries energy, um, or fiery energy, um, it could Leo, um, but you, you're feeling a little more reserved, you're feeling, you know, not like you don't want to celebrate with others, you don't want to be with a collective too much, you kind of be want to be more on your own, um, a situation could have occurred in your family, or a situation could be occurring as well, um, where, you know, something happened in the group, and now you're like, ooh, I'm not really vibing with this energy anymore, okay? But there's some kind of um, just emotional stirring going on, okay? Um, I really feel that, because what came with it, the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse, it could be, you know, again, when I was talking about family or a past soulmate or a soulmate situation where it's someone you're really emotionally tied to um, or have a lot of vulnerability for, um, and maybe there was a situation where they were not very compassionate to you, um, or they acted very rash, or, or there's a separation that occurred, um, or, you know, this could have occurred from your perspective as well, where, where, you know, you separated, or you, you know, could have acted, um, in a place that was not super compassionate, from a place that was not super compassionate, okay? Um, this could also be, you know, you're waiting for some kind of message or some kind of conversation maybe you know something is upset something is off and you want to have some kind of reconciliation or you want to have some kind of balance come out of this okay um with a family member with someone from the past with um or over a past situation okay um or you sit on a message to someone and you're waiting to receive it back okay and you're kind of like i don't know necessarily what's going on okay um so the upset could just be coming from not an emotional chart, mostly charged situation, but your emotions are upset because, you know, a message you're waiting to receive or some kind of conversation you're waiting to continue with is not happening yet, okay? Um, and this could even mean that this is past patterns that are pulled up because of the situation. These are a little more separate, okay? The situation is, is you know, a message is coming in and, or you're waiting for the message to come in and past emotions are coming up maybe of, of impatience that that from before past you know it's making you think or doubt your abilities or making you doubt you know um, just insecurities or fears coming in okay because you have to wait okay so all those things a lot is coming in okay that's why it's a lot, a lot of clarity now what's happening is the whole purpose is there's a, an impending judgment call there's something that is on the way there's some kind of um, decision that's going to be made some kind of realization that's going to occur um, I'm even hearing it's gonna really occur up until Uranus moves and jumps back into Taurus, okay? Um, and it could have been a situation from last May, um, or the summer when Uranus was in Taurus, okay? Um, up until, I guess about August, um, October, honestly, September, October, um, when Uranus moved back into Aries, okay? And then it kind of chilled out, and now you're feeling things rev up again. Um, this also is saying that something is needing to be wrapped up and healed before that situation occurs, before Uranus moves into Taurus, and there's, you know, new, um, a new change in mindset, a new change in energy, okay? But some kind of judgment call is on the way. There's some kind of, um, this could be a message you're looking for. Um, this could be a celebration coming up. This could be a revelation. I really think it's some kind of, like, aha moment coming. Um, and so the card I pull is separate from um, what's on the table for you is intuition so guidance for the coming in energy because it's such a, a lot of energy coming in okay um the advice you got though before i get to the intuition card is acceptance and be honest with yourself so this is really a time of taking time to 
truly zoom into what's going on and how you're feeling about the situation, but not only looking at that, zooming out and seeing as well, what's the bigger picture, okay, and what's going on, okay, um, oh, excuse me, um, and so, um, I think that's a lot of what's going on, you know, it's really seeing, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot on the table, okay, um, and so you're really, literally, there's a lot of cars too, um, but having to, find acceptance, forgiveness, and, and honesty within this school situation, okay? Um, and I think that may be the judgment call, okay? So now let's get into intuition here and see what this says. Okay. This is advice for the coming in situation. Intuition. This flower will assist you in meditating and understanding dreams, visions, and feelings, okay? Um, it will often indicate that you need to look beneath the surface that there is more going on than meets the eye, okay? And what's happening, too, I just was, I meant to say this in the beginning of the reading, your ruler Venus, okay, just jumped out of Scorpio and it's now moving into Sag, okay? So when Venus was in Scorpio, you know, for a minute as well, the Venus retrograde, Taurus, you were going through a lot. There was a lot of underneath things coming up, a lot of hidden desires, a lot of secrets could have been revealed to you, um, a lot of hidden feelings you about others, a lot of hidden feelings from others surfaced, um, and so this is a time when a lot of things occurred in the dark, okay? Now that the Venus is in Sag, there's going to be a lot more expansion coming to you, a lot more optimism, but a lot more light and clarity coming to all the darker situations, all the things that were went underneath the surface, okay? Um, and all the things that you had to really use your intuition to zoom into, okay? Um, that's going to be clarity's coming. Creative blocks are self-imposed now and are also easily lifted if you simply do the work or take the first step. The same goes for indecision at this time. You may actually find new creative ideas are forthcoming. Trust your feelings, listen to your inner voice, and do not be swayed by others. Illusions are very easy to believe and may present themselves in ways which are easy to mistake as signs or opportunities. Take time to meditate, to sit and think deeply about what it is you want, believe, and know to be truth and reality. The affirmation is what I feel is valid. I trust my inner voice, okay? Um, so that is kind of the advice moving forward. Now, let's get into um, the oracle energies. The oracle energy, sorry. So this is kind of the energy for, depending on the element, I kind of did a, um, a it shifted. For air signs, it was your mindset, okay? Water signs, it was more, you know, what is your heart telling you? For earth signs, it's what's on the table. Because y'all are more practical. It's like, look, tell me what, what is, what's going on. Okay, what is it? Okay, let's, let's get to the case, okay? So for you guys, you got affinity, but in reverse. Okay, and affinity is about attraction and, and, and what, you, what, what you resonate with, okay? And so let's see what that, that's meaning. So this month, there's going to be a needing to work with this energy, okay? Affinity. And I'll turn it up so you can see the card. Knowing what truly aligns with you is vital at the present. A softening of aggression and calming of emotions is indicated by the night flocks. Tensions will ease and peace should prevail, but be prepared to do the work to make this happen. Someone is near who offers companionship, a relationship, or even an opportunity that is deeper on all levels. Be prepared to give a lot more than you might be ready for if you wish to pursue this relationship. You should find yourself surrounded by like-minded people and in situations you truly enjoy and thrive in. Don't let invitations pass you by. Challenges include tension, infatuation, and dangerous temptations. Jealousy is also strongly indicated by this flower. So be very careful when it comes to self-doubt. The affirmation is, I am one with what, I, what it is I desire. Okay? Um, and so this is affinity here. So, you know, um, I think that, that, that was a lot of it. There, there's, there's a wrapping up there's a, that can come up to the situation. Um, but again, it's going to be coming through. The first part was about meditation, clearing your mind, which ties in with the intuition card here. Okay. Now, moving on to the theme of the month. I really think what I was talking about earlier, there's structure that we're working on, finding more stability. Um, you might not be feeling super grounded right now. Are you looking for a financial opportunity to come in and you're waiting on it? Um... This is saying that, you know, sorry, <laughs> I thought I was going to like throw up a thing. I had to burp. Um, 
that this this is a pause, okay? This is a this is to me with the four of pentacles coming up, meaning this energy is here for you, but it's just kind of a little bit maybe in delay. Um, and I can see with the advice coming up later, this could be what it is, okay? You got the two of swords coming in. So it's saying that you're going back and forth between options right now, um, or this is causing you to fight back and forth between maybe your emotions, or, you know, you're stuck like, oh, why is this happening? I, I want to move forward in this way. Oh, I'm stuck in this situation. Uh, I, I want this to move forward in this way. Um, and, and you're really, you know, going back and forth, or, or it's making you think, okay, why is this not happening now? Should I change this? Should I shift this? Why am I still feeling this? Should I change this? Should I shift this? And so you, it's make, it's throwing you off and it's making you feel unstable. Okay. The advice you got for the month is law of attraction. Okay. So saying that, you know, what's in your physical surroundings is a, a manifestation and a mirror of what's internal. Okay. So as you find more stability, even if the situation and, and what's going around you is shifty and as a fellow fixed sign, we like things to, to be st steady. We don't like change too much. Okay. So even if people around you are, are changing, where inside of you can you find stability? Okay. Emotionally, physically, um, you know, you know, those are the main ones spiritually as well. Okay. Where can you find grounding at this time, okay, to get back into balance, okay? Because the last bit of advice you got was fresh air. So there's a need to get away. There could be, you know, travel coming in with Venus, especially your world of going to Sag. This is a great time to travel, a great time to go to learn something new, maybe take a course somewhere, um, and invest in yourself and exploring right now, okay? That'll help open your mind, help give you some fresh air, okay? And the last card I got, the last advice for you guys sending you off, you got the balance card in reverse, okay? So this is the main thing I was talking about for the month will be your main focus, bringing things in balance. So I'm going to go ahead and read this card for you. This is going to be another big focus, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Balance. The chocolate flower, okay? So... Harmony is possible as well as the opportunity to blend together facets of your world in a more productive and balanced way. Endeavors undertaken, especially creative ones, should prove to be very successful, and you may find the way ahead actually very easy to navigate. Guidance is being offered, and the advice could be of great value to you at present, and even provide you with security, okay, because that could be something that we're looking for right now, okay? Um... Patience may be needed for a while, but it will ensure that you find a calmness which could be lacking or required right now. You will find your balance in this space, okay? So again, this is something that I'm seeing that it's coming, okay? But it's just, you're, gonna, you're working through things right now, okay? Um, the challenge will be to remain balanced and to not become disconnected or risk going to extremes. Be wary of arguments and fights that stem from miscommunication and a lack of decision making, okay? And so that's kind of the energy right now. When you're feeling a little bit unstable, it makes you a little shifty, okay, in your mindset. The affirmation for the month, I am harmonious within and here I find my balance, all right? Um, so that is the last bit of guidance I have for you guys. If you want to go, of course, deeper into the situation, you can check out my services. I have tons of services. If you want to do something really quick, 30-minute quick brew, okay, because it's all about the tea, y'all know. Um, and so go ahead and check my website out. Um, also, hit up the Candle Magic if you want to. That's a major way to work with healing with relationships internally, um, fixing things, you know, because the main thing, relationships are a mirror. You can't, you know, when you can't, control another person you can't you know you said enough or you know you can't communicate right now or things that need to take people need to take time and space candles are really really great for healing and really really great for working on yourself releasing feelings um so many things if you need help with intuition you can work with candles on building intuition and until the 21st this is really great energy for constructive magic okay think building things growing in things okay um, and so that's a big focus. Okay. And, and that could help as well. So check out my candle workshop. That's, that's down below as well. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, you resonated with it, go ahead and like the video, share to any other Taurus energy. Okay. That, that you feel like is going through a similar situation, or if there's anybody else that's going through a situation, tell them to check out one of my videos. You know, if they're Scorpio, they're Gemini, tell them to hit up, excuse me, hit up, you know, and, and see if it resonates. Okay. Cause there could be some guidance that could help them as well. Okay. 
Um, if you're a new Taurus and you like my vibe, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're an older tuning in, thanks for always tuning in and, and you know, listening to me, okay? Um, I always like to just add something to your day, okay? So thank you guys so much. Much love to you and enjoy the month of January.